Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. I just wanted to talk some boxing right quick. You know, um, I like to prepare y'all early for what's going to happen for, you know, the uh, spin twisters who try to put a spin on certain shit, certain subjects. And I want to prepare y'all to watch out for the bullshit that's coming Cause you know already know you already know who gonna be the usual suspects that's gonna start talking that bullshit about Bud. At the end of the day, I don't give a fuck who he signed with. At the end of the day, they signed with whoever they signed with. Still doesn't, you know, it still doesn't take away from the fact that a lot of these fights happen hap- hadn't happened because of not just the white man. But the black dude too. See, unlike these other niggas on here, I don't sit up and praise nobody just because they look like me. If they ain't making fights, they ain't making fights. And motherfuckers can sit up and lie and say they they this and they that. But at the end of the day, the truth is out there. Like the X-Files. And the real truth is, it ain't just the white man that's preventing these fights it's the black dude too and you know what black dude i'm talking about as well as the white man in the uk who's preventing fights as well they're all doing they're all in on it they all need to get criticized because all these dudes is doing is holding belts hostage not putting together certain fights for unification because if they particular fighter get a certain amount of belts then they have a certain amount of power or they can ask for certain demands when it comes to negotiating a fight which could lead to a fight happening or not happening more than likely not happening and that's what's been going on for the past few years at the end of the day these promoters don't want to sac- sacrifice sir I don't like let me they don't want to they don't want to put certain fighters in a position to get beat because they may need that fighter for future fights. At the end of the day, the same shit that top rank was doing, other people doing that shit now. And that's fact. No matter how much people try to play these games and point the finger at just one person or that person, like I say, they all guilty of doing the shit. Like I said, I'm keeping it real on my channel. I don't sugarcoat shit. I ain't no nut hugger or nobody. Like I said before, I know what's going on. So, with that being said, let me talk about what's about to happen and how people gonna put a spin on this shit. Now, rumor has it, nothing official yet, rumor has it that Terrence Crawford has came out and said that He's not going to take a significant pay cut just to fight Manny Pacquiao. He wants a certain amount of money. Now, here's the thing. How much do Bud think he's supposed to get to fight Manny Pacquiao? That's what I'm wondering. How much has he been told he would get to fight Manny Pacquiao? Now, keep in mind, right now, there somewhere Manny Pacquiao fans are going, phew. Because at the end of the day, Manny Pacquiao fans was not really pushing for this fight. I'm just keeping it 100. And if they say they do, they a damn lie. You know how many videos I made talking about Bud fight Manny Pacquiao? You know how many times Manny Pacquiao fans said, Oh, oh, Bud don't have to. But no, no, Bud shouldn't get Manny Pacquiao. Bud hasn't done enough. Um, um, Manny doesn't have to fight Bud if he doesn't want to. His, re- his, his resume is not big enough. And there's no money in fighting Bud Crawford. How many times did you hear that? So I'm just keeping it 100. But see, what they're going to do now is they're going to try to do the boomerang theory. They're going to try to reverse it and say, oh, see, Terrence Crawford is not serious. Well, Manny Pacquiao ain't been serious for four years. Manny Pacquiao could immediately fought Bud after Bud took the belt from Jeff Horn. 
Bud offered him a title shot several times. Manny Pacquiao was hinting that he was going to retire. And what did Manny Pacquiao do? He didn't even want to. Manny Pacquiao didn't even really want to rebatch Jeff Horn. He fought Lucas Matisse. Then he went to the PBC and fought Adrian Broner and fought Keith Thurman. You know, the fight was out there for Manny Pacquiao and he didn't want it. So now what you're going to have on the flip side, you're going to have people that can't stand Bud go say that he ducking Manny Pacquiao. Motherfucker, please. It's funny. It's funny with black fighters. They always want black fighters. You know what I'm saying? To take pay cuts. This this doesn't just go on in boxing. This goes on in all the sports to a certain degree. Same thing is just like with the black black quarterback versus the white quarterback. You know, look what's going on. Dak Prescott ain't got his ain't got his money. Patrick Mahomes won a Super Bowl, ain't got his money. They kind of playing games with Lamar Jackson. You know? So they always expect, they always expect blacks to give discounts. But the funny thing was Joe Flacco made a solid amount of money when he played for the Ravens. Eli Manning made over $100 million. Yes, he won two Super Bowls, but he has a 500 record, I think, on the dot as a starting quarterback. Okay. So, that's the thing. People are still debating to this day or within the next few years, is Eli Manning the first ballot Hall of Famer? I think he is, but that, that it's up for discussion. So that's what I'm saying. Manny Pacquiao didn't want no, he didn't want to give a discount. So why should Bud do it? Bud is considered by many people the best fighter on the planet. Pay him what he's worth. Okay. Bud has done solid TV ratings. You know, he does all right in lot, and, and, and he's done all right. And live live attendance. For real. He has a name. People know who he is. When people say, oh, Bud Crawford isn't big, people know who that dude is. Okay? He isn't as popular as Floyd Mayweather. But if you say you heard of Bud Crawford, people be like, uh, the, that dark skinned dude. And you be like, yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, I heard of him. So yeah. Just watch out for that. Watch out for the people that's going to put them bullshit videos out that Bud is ducking Manny Pacquiao. Because they're, they're coming. And the words of Flavor Flav, don't believe the hype. This your boy Town Biz. I'm out.